Hell fucking yeah, man. What is going on, y'all? It's your man, Jeff, and we are back with another one. First off, and as always, guys, especially today, it is damn good to see y'all, man. I hope you guys are out there doing good, going after your dreams and shit, man, for real. Freaking missed y'all yesterday, man. I woke up late, as I always seem to do, and then I got called into work because my boss was moving. So they needed somebody to close, so in I went. But man, I fucking hope y'all are doing good. I apologize for missing y'all yesterday. I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> but I brought some stand-up man, Gary Delaney. I've seen this guy on my Facebook before while I'm just kind of skimming, you know? So I may have already heard a couple of these jokes, but I know I haven't heard the whole freaking thing, man. And this guy's fucking hilarious. I'm excited to get into this, man. I'm excited to be back. I know it was only one day. But to me, it felt like a goddamn month or something. Man, it was weird. It was weird. I didn't know what to do with myself, almost. But right now, without any further ado, Jeffro is about to dive into this Gary Delaney live at the fucking Apollo. Let's go, yo. Make sure I'm recording here, Jesus. All right, good, good. Hello, happy Christmas. I'd like to start by saying it's disappointing, given the size of the sign behind me, that Noel Edmonds hasn't even bothered to turn up. <laughs> I didn't realise it said Noel on the fucking thing. Noel <laughs> Edmonds <laughs> hasn't even bothered to turn up. <laughs> I went to buy a Christmas tree. The guy said, are you going to put it up yourself? I said, no, I was thinking the living room. <laughs> Oh, man, that took me a second to get. <laughs> oh, he... <laughs> Put it up myself. No, I... <laughs> Thinking the living room. Dirtier than I expected is, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Christmas morning, we'd always wake up and go, Has he been? Has he been? Has he been? because we knew Dad wouldn't put the presents out until after he'd had a shit. <laughs> that's... Wasn't the jingling of bells we listened out for in our house, believe you me. <laughs> me and my little sister under the covers, I think I can hear Santa straining. <laughs> I think I can smell his reindeer. <laughs> this year I switched the lights oh. on in Carlisle. It's nothing to do with Christmas, but they've got electricity now, so that's good. <laughs> I've got an advent calendar for Jehovah's Witnesses. Behind every door, somebody tells you to piss off. <laughs> I bought a Travelodge advent calendar. It's still got chocolate in, but you can't open the windows. <laughs> I've got a Microsoft advent calendar. You open too many windows at once and they all shut again for no bloody reason. <laughs> I took a poll recently and 100% of people were quite annoyed that their tent had fallen down. <laughs> Last week I launched a book aimed at nine to 12 year olds and I'm proud to say I hit one of the little shits. <laughs> I remember one time the teacher asked me for a word with four eyes, and I said, Mississippi. He said, no, I mean, I want to have a word, you specky twat. <laughs> <laughs> you specky twat. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. He said, no, I mean, I want to have a word, you specky twat. <laughs> a friend of mine's been suffering from paranoid oh. delusions, and now he thinks he's a chocolate orange. I worry he's going to be sectioned. Poor Terry. That shit went over my head. <laughs> I used to be a fortune teller, but all I ever predicted was really cold winters. Turned <laughs> out the crystal ball shop had sold me a snow globe. <laughs> Shaking it. <laughs> 
my last job I just used to punch buttons all day and that's why I'm no longer allowed to do panto. <laughs> I nearly lost my job as a roofer when I was caught masturbating on the first day. Luckily <laughs> my boss said I could wipe the slate clean. <laughs> <laughs> New Year's a time for getting healthier, isn't it? You know, next year I've decided that I'm going to do dry January and see if I can manage an entire month without any foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> my golf instructor said I need to work on my follow through. I said, is it my swing? He said, no, you've got shit down the back of your trousers. <laughs> Two new things this week. Yeah. One, sperm isn't actually good for your skin. <laughs> and two, my dermatologist has been struck off. <laughs> my dad's been suffering from seizures. So far, they've taken his car, his house, and his boat. <laughs> my wife always cheats when she's on a diet. She hides bars of chocolate all around the house and fucks other men. <laughs> One time I went to A&E with a vacuum cleaner nozzle stuck up my ass. And the nurse said, how did that happen? I said, well, I was doing the vacuuming naked and I decided to stick the nozzle up my ass. <laughs> well, at least she's honest. Oh, my God. <laughs> Should have seen the look on Henry's face. <laughs> and he'd only just come out the closet. <laughs> People who say that ketamine should be banned should get down off their high horse. <laughs> I've currently got a stalker, but you probably can't tell in these trousers. <laughs> Christmas is a time for all the family to get together, isn't it? Yeah. This Christmas I'm taking the whole family to Lapland, which is great, because normally those clubs don't let kids in. <laughs> One time I persuaded my kid brother to swallow a torch. It was worth it just to see his little face light up. <laughs> Whenever I see a respected actor in panto, I always like to shout, it's beneath you! I don't like sex in the shower, it's slippy, dangerous, and one of the worst things about prison. <laughs> of course, Christmas can put a lot of strain on relationships, can't it? It really can, you know. But my wife and I are a great match, because I've got a nine-inch penis, and she doesn't know which way around to hold a ruler. <laughs> I'm not saying my wife's embarrassed about me, but at our wedding, I was only invited to the evening do. <laughs> my wife says that if I carry on being so pedantic all the time, eventually I'll find I've got less and less friends. I said, no, I won't. I'll find I've got fewer and fewer friends. <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> that didn't We've been help. trying to recapture the sex life we had when we were younger, so the other day I sent her a dick pic, and she texted back, unsubscribe. <laughs> when my wife suggested we try playing doctors and nurses, I was really hoping for something sexy than being left in a corridor for two days. <laughs> Whenever my wife says that she fancies an early night, I know that means sexy time, because yeah. I can stay up late watching porn. <laughs> My wife bought herself a rampant rabbit. I wouldn't say it's her favourite sex toy, but it's definitely up there. <laughs> when my wife... I love when comedians laugh at their own fucking shit, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> when my wife's away, my favourite thing to do is to poo with the door open and really surprise the postman. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my God. I like to think of my wife as a trophy wife, because her ears stick out and she's got the previous winner's names tattooed down her back. nasty, I love it. And I suggested to my wife we try using a strap on, she was right behind me. <laughs> of course, the best part of having an argument is making up afterwards with hot, angry sex. But if anything, that made the traffic warden even more cross. <laughs> uh, you have to be careful on the roads at this time of the year, don't you? I had a very stressful journey getting here today. All the way, this lorry driver was right up my ass, but it was nice for him to give me a lift. <laughs> Things I'll do for a Yorkie. I don't carry a donor card. I find it depressing enough the amount of women who've rejected my organ whilst I'm alive. <laughs> I was at the dentist. He said, I have to warn you, this is going to hurt. I said, what is it? He said, your wife thinks I've got a bigger cock. <laughs> I said, you think that, but she doesn't know which way round to hold a ruler. <laughs> Did you know if you were to take Katie Hopkins' head and put it on Piers Morgan's body, they'd both die, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo, you have been absolutely lovely. Thank you very much and happy Christmas. Thank oh, you. man! <laughs> that was fucking awesome, man. <laughs> Shout out to Gailey Delaney, man. You, Warren King, dude, you were not lying about the fucking one-liners. And he, he sets his one-liners up and then, like, fucking, because <clears throat> it's, like, set up, pun or punchline joke, you know what I mean? Like, set up punchline kind of thing. He sets you up like you're going this way and you expect to go down. This is making no sense properly, but he goes up with the setup and then the punchline's, like, way over here. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, man. Like, I guess what I'm trying to explain is... Like, sometimes when you watch a comedian, you see the setup, and you can almost see the punchline coming. With him, you couldn't, because he just turned it in some different direction, man. It was fucking awesome. I love, like I said in the last stand-up uh, reaction that I did, I fucking love stand-up, and I love one-liners, especially, man. Uh, Jimmy Carr, Mitch Hedberg, now Gary Delaney. <clears throat> it's just something about that style of comedy that I love, man. I think it's because... Um, you don't really get time to breathe, if that makes any sense. Like, there's no long lulls. Like, there's no long setup for a ginormous punchline. It's just bam, 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 like one right after the other. So as you, as you, literally, as I was doing that, I'm keeling over laughing. You're getting hit with another joke. You're getting hit with another joke. They just keep coming in, and you can't stop, man. It's fucking, it's the shit, man. And I love how they do that, man. It's... That is probably the coolest thing to see. Like, a hip-hop artist freestyling, going nuts, is fucking awesome. But when you see a comedian, to me, it's like the same element. When a hip-hop artist freestyles, goes crazy, gets the crowd going, to me, that's the same as when a comedian just set a wicked punchline, and then he keeps tagging it with extra shit to make that laugh keep going, man. I freaking love it. The two styles of art are definitely my favorite. I think I've rambled off, rambled off long enough <laughs> for this outro, man. So we are going to cut it at this. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. It feels damn good to be back, man. And I am so sorry about fucking missing yesterday. But I was not, I was not going to give a reaction where I was exhausted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where I can't not be myself and jump around and be silly and kind of goofy. You know what I mean? I like, I like being me. I don't like being... <sighs> What's going on, y'all? I'm half asleep. That ain't never gonna happen. <laughs> so I hope y'all can forgive me. And as always, have a damn good day. I love y'all, and I will catch you in the next one, alright? Peace out, you bad motherfuckers.